Hi, Bry here from Bry's Creations. I'm excited to show you my new Clearview series of homes. Now, I like to think outside the box, but to do it for this series, I had to get inside the box, literally. These builds were driven by a desire for seamless glass windows, skylights, and glass floors. I've been hoping and waiting for them since the release of The Sims 4, but I got tired of waiting. Basement spaces, plus BB Move objects, plus enlarged get-to-work display cases to the rescue. And this is the first in my series, my Clearview starter. I tried to use bright colors, and as you swing around, you can see I wound up using three display cases to comprise the bulk of the home. So anywhere you're seeing those seamless glass walls and skylights, that's one of the enlarged display cases. And the really cool thing is that the Sims can route right into these things without a problem. And let's go ahead and check out the inside. Now, this is a starter, so there's not a ton I could really do with it without spending more money than I wanted to. Um, so the colors are part of what I use to add interest. And if we look into the living room, okay, the views, right? This is why you're going to live here anyway. Never mind the starter portion. There's a skylight. But this is the little living room. And I did use, um, have my Sims do some custom photos there on the walls. And when we head into the kitchen, we've got a nice dine-in counter with, again, fabulous views. It's almost, you know, a 360 degree view. Um, again, I've got Sims created photos up there and there's that skylight. You can see the sun. I did have to position the stove in this little alcove here. Stoves are one of the few interactive objects that will not work within the container space. A little bit of a bummer, but no big deal. There you go. Sims can throw away their garbage and check out the plantain tree down there. This is the hallway, which leads to the, the um, home's bedroom and bathroom. Um, so here's the, the only bedroom. And again, starter, not a lot I could do. Played with the colors, the stripes, but there's that view which is why you would live here. And crossing over to the small bathroom. Small but full with a nice little bathtub space here. Again, capitally, capitalizing on the views but with a little bit more privacy. And finally, you can come out to this small area in the back. I've only got a bench here uh, for the Sims to take in the views, but as your Sims earn some money, they could certainly put a little work area out here or a desk. Um, any number of possibilities. So this is my Clearview starter and I'm showing you some top-down views now so you can get an idea of the layout. And put those roofs back up. My sim uh, is actually having some trouble so let's go ahead and have her go on in and you can see how she can actually use the facilities. Now you can't actually click on the floor and tell the sims to go there you have to click on an object to have the sim use it. In this case, she's having some cereal. I could have clicked on the couch to have her sit down. Um, everything is all functional and she can walk through. It's just when you click on the ground, the game doesn't really recognize that as routable, even though clearly it is. Um, and she can click on the television and watch television just fine while she's eating. And of course the bug is still there that the TV doesn't go off when she turns it off. Kind of like that bug actually. She can wash the dishes. I'm going to send her over to use the bathroom. Um, and so there you have it. Um, a livable series of containers. I'm just showing you. I use debug objects in the landscape to do some kind of funky things. They are free so they're great for a little starter. And more little debug objects for the rocks in there along with the plants. Um, so everything is fully functional in this home. The only thing you may notice that's a little bit odd uh, is that the Sims can actually route right through the glass walls. It doesn't affect the playability, so no worries there. If you uh, like my Clearview starter, there's a link to download it in the description, as well as links to my Basement Spaces tutorial and the other two homes in the series. Thanks for watching.